Hi, this is Sabina Matos, and I'm running for Congress. Hi, Sabina's in, in a selfie. Just elected Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos delivers a string of progressive talking points in a bid to succeed Congressman David Cicilline in Washington. She is the first major candidate to jump into the race. NBC 10 political reporter Brian Crandall is live in the studio with the latest developments. Brian. Emily and Jean Sabina Matos gets in early as expected, fresh off a win in the lieutenant governor's race just four months ago, now trying to parlay that momentum into a seat in Washington. And running for Congress. Two years under her belt as lieutenant governor after first being appointed to the post and Providence City Council president before that. Now Sabina Matos has her sights set on Congress. With over a decade of experience at the local and state government, I'm looking forward to bring in that experience to Washington and to fight for the people of Rhode Island in Congress. Matos could have plenty of competition, especially in the Democratic primary. Rhode Island House Speaker Joe Shikarchi says he is strongly considering a run. So is Helena Foltz, who made a late surge in a run for governor last year. A number of mayors and state lawmakers are weighing campaigns. Alan Waters, who ran for the seat last year as a Republican, says he's running again, but as a Democrat this time. Vina Matos is smart to try to get in early officially. Uh, because she's already just one statewide office. Uh, given that there might be a very crowded primary, uh, and she's an experienced retail kind of politician who talks to a lot of people in the community, um, if she can get started sooner rather than later, that gives her, you know, for the moment, uh, a leg up. NBC 10 political analyst Wendy Schiller says Matos is well known in communities that she often visits that maybe other politicians don't. Uh, she's a woman, a woman of color, and from a Latinx background. This gives Latinx uh, voters the chance to be represented in Congress descriptively in a way they never have been before. So I do think that Latinx voters are an untapped resource. Right, now, Matos lives in Providence, though, just outside the 1st Congressional District. Now, while it's not required that she does live there, her campaign says Matos is committed to moving her family into the 1st District. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC10 News.